TFNN. Headline News Update. And as we start off the 2 p.m. update here at TFNN, it's kind of uh, all quiet on the Western Front. Um, I think a lot of people are a little bit shocked today. The big news uh, we've been talking about for the last three days or so, maybe four days, is the uh, the amount of crude that the Russians had queued up. Uh, and ready to go as soon as uh, it was legal to sell. Now, there's a cap on the price, uh, but these guys need a lot of cash, and they need it quick. Um, and we talked a little bit on the show yesterday about how many of these old freighters, um, oil, uh, crude oil freighters, uh, are out uh, in what's called a shadow fleet. Uh, and... Well, I think Venezuela and Iran have already figured out easy ways or easier ways around uh, the bans or cells. Uh, and, of course, uh, one of the things, uh, you know, once they turn it from crude into gasoline or diesel or any other product, um, no bans actually exist. So from a variety of things, from uh, pushing uh, Chevron to drill in Venezuela, but not in the United States, uh, we continue to uh, really push uh, the rest of the countries around the world to produce oil uh, while we uh, step away from it. And you can pretty much say that, uh, as they say, a, a, a low price is a good solution for a low price. And as they drive that down, maybe we can refill uh, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Uh, but uh, we'll see. See if anybody actually wants to do that. Uh, anyway, a uh, quiet day uh, for the most part so far on an options expiration day. Uh, generally, you have fairly wide swings. We are not getting that. You also tend to have a lot of volume uh, in the markets. And so far... I can't really say that we're blowing away, actually fairly light. Anyway, we'll have the uh, full show in just a few minutes, so hang on. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 